thought, um, you know, we really want to shake things up, really want to try things out um, differently. We want to get out of our comfort zones, get to, new, to meet new people, get to play in different worlds and all that. So it's really, really important to see it through players' eyes and, and to see how they experience things. I named it adopt dev and that kind of uh, caught on. This program is so much fun. Um, it blew up much bigger than I could possibly have imagined, you know. Um, originally we were thinking we'd have, you know, a couple dozen uh, guilds sign up, you know. We ended up with, I kind of lost track, around 150 or so. It was John Corpening's initiative and he is also very, very keen on um, uh, you know, really building that bridge with the community and, and making sure that we're communicating more. Uh, I think all told we probably had about uh, 30 plus uh, developers um, all signed up to get adopted. So I got adopted into uh, Do More Damage. A guild called CERN. I was adopted by Visceral Effect. Get of Fenris. The guild Hordes of Denravi. The guild called Driven by Fury. I was adopted by uh, Helios. Nonverbal Persuasion. For World vs. Worlds, you know, it is, uh, is large-scale combat. Every fight is just epic proportions. We've had some great experiences, uh, you know, some really good battles. And on how a single commander can really change the tide. Veil 1, Veil 2, Stability 1, Stability 2, like everyone knows where they are in the rotation. They literally, they take that Zerg and they cut pieces off of that Zerg. They cut the head off, they devour the head, they cut the tail off, they devour the tail. It's amazing a single player in a large group can make a difference, but how the large group has to really put their, their faith in that single player. Soon enough, a group of 40 people is taking down a group of 200. Uh, it kind of raises the sense of, um, you know, being at war and the sense of battle and the military discipline. They are just uh, what makes World vs. World a really awesome and unique experience. The most intense moment was when uh, we did attack on hills. We were standing there, we were trying to defend it, and suddenly we just see come over the hill. One side was Blackgate, one side was us, and then Jade Quarry snuck in behind us. Two different Zergs on each side. And we managed to come in at the point where the enemy was about to kill the Keep Lord. Let's do this. We will die with honor and dignity and take out as many of them as we can. And we, uh, we managed to flip it with two seconds left on the clock. <sighs> it was intense. You were asked to be one thing that uh, was I learned. I think I've learned a lot that we can use to uh, improve the, the game experience. It just makes me as a developer feel like what I'm doing is actually very important to other people who are out there. Even after two years, still learning, still developing, still growing as a community. I can't ask for anything more being a developer on this side of a of game. And I think it's really important to build up this sort of trusting relationship with our fans. I have to say it's been a lot of fun. What's next? We, we intend to do this again, um, so keep your eyes open. Um, look, for, uh, look for it to come up again. And I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>